Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video actually some of the Muslims is trying to answer me regarding uh, proving that Muhammad he was not a true believer. You can go back to the video as you see this is a name you can watch it we posted a few days ago and now in here he's saying he claimed that I'm not uh, 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 I was reading the tafsir claiming it is the Quran. Tafsir means the explanation. Now I will show you how Muslims always do help me and why some people accuse me that I pay Muslims to answer me in a, in a foolish way. I'm not calling Omar foolish but you know your answer is foolish. Let me show you how. You are saying in here the Quran says that Shaitan which means Satan did this to all the prophets which means he threw words in the mouth of, of, uh, of, uh, of prophets of Allah so shaitan did this to all the prophets and Allah will correct that thank you very much <clears throat> now what is that going to lead us to this is will mean that all the prophets of Allah Satan was able to speak by them use them control them because the one who controls your tongue is controlling your brain you know when somebody put words in your tongue he would it where do your tongue speak by itself the tongue simply is saying words your brain order him to say so when you agree that Satan he made all the prophets of Allah speak the words of Satan this is mean you agree that's all the prophets of Islam with no exception they became a prophet of Satan it doesn't matter how long if you speak for Satan one minute you became a prophet of Satan for one minute if you speak speak for Satan for one year you became a prophet of Satan for one year according to the hadith and according to your your, your scholars your prophet was controlled by Satan for one uh, for sorry for six months uh, have you you know the heavy time of, of them the six month was 40 days the total was six months you can go and watch my debate in investigateislam.com so you can have you can you can uh, you know you can watch four hours debate to prove in that point and you will see the Muslims your scholars agree that yes the prophet of Islam he was bewitched by Satan controlled by Satan and he was a messenger of Satan because simply the one who speak for Satan is a prophet of Satan or a messenger of Satan and the one who speak for God he's a messenger of God the man of Satan speak for Satan and speak Satan word or satanic word and the man of God he speak word of God simply clear so now you agree that's all the prophet of Islam they are satanic at least in a certain time when where they were controlled by Satan secondly you said Allah will correct all what does that mean it's mean Allah will never allow Satan to corrupt his books if we go and read the verse together in the Quran we will see the following let us go and see this is uh, uh, chapter 22 verse 52 53 54 etc you know and here you will see as you said mr. Omar that Satan he put words in the mouth of Muhammad Muhammad he spoke for Satan and you said Allah will correct whatever Satan he put in the mouth of his prophets now when we say Satan put words in the mouth of prophet what does that mean it means Satan even prophets of God he have power over them not only human which mean Allah when he made a promise in here he is making a promise to control and to protect his words so nobody can corrupt them so how you explain to me you say that Allah will correct it for all the prophets and the same time you say to me that your Bible is corrupted isn't it your God Allah as you said just he made a promise to not let Satan to do that you might say to me you know what no 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 the one who corrupted the Bible it was the human not the Satan well isn't it your prophet a human as you see your prophet himself is corrupting the Quran because he accepted words of Satan and he made himself speak them fooling people that this is from God so Satan is using a human anyway your prophet is a, is a human he's not God 
So your God in here is making a promise to correct all those books, but he never did supposedly because in Islam, as you know, the, the Muslims, they claim that the Bible, the Old Testament and the New Testament is corrupted. So when you say Allah will correct it all, this is false because according to your books, he did not correct it all. But now you will say, no, 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 he made the promise just to correct the Quran, but you just said, oh, the prophets happened to them this and Allah will correct that. Which means a fuller promise for all his books to be, pro to, to be protected. Simple and clear. Now if we go to the verse, we will see something very funny. And we will prove that your God, Allah cannot be God. How? If you read with me in here, the verse after, you will see that when Satan he put words in the mouth of the, of the prophets of Allah, it wasn't Satan really, it was Allah. Look what he's saying. That he make that which the devil, huh? That he make who, who is the one he? Does he go for who? This one go for Allah. So Allah actually is making the devil, controlling his prophets, and he is using that to do what? Read with me. For temptation for those who they have a disease in their heart. So Allah simply in here, He is using Satan to do that. Satan is the poor kid. Satan is a good guy. It is your God Allah making Satan do that for temptation of those who have disease in their heart. Now let us show you something very funny to prove to you that your God Allah is Satan we prove that Allah tried to corrupt his words by using Satan putting words in his in their mouth and then Allah will correct it what well, doesn't make sense when I use Satan to corrupt my words why I want to correct it why and I, I want to use him to do that when I don't want him to do that so Allah in here He is using Satan for his own benefit and he is the one who is making the Satan corrupt in the book of God. It is not the fault of Satan. Why? To do temptation. Now, if the Quran says that Allah will correct it, where is the temptation? Do you see how stupid the one who made the verse? If Allah is saying to me, uh, as you said, Allah will correct all those words he threw. Where is the temptation? And in here, is it you who spoke about prophets of Allah, messengers of Allah? So this temptation was not for anyone else because all the prophets of Allah, according to this verse, Satan was putting words in their mouth. <laughs> And if you read in here, You will see that this is will happen for those who have a disease in their heart. Which means your Prophet Muhammad, he have a disease in his heart. Disease means sickness. Sickness in what? Which means he is sick. Allah hate him. He's ugly. He's disgusting. So Allah simply in here, what, he, what he's saying to us is something extremely stupid. I will make Satan put words in the Quran And then I will take it off. And I am the one who made Satan put those words in the Quran as temptation. Temptation to who? For those who they are ugly and sick. Who are they? The prophets of Islam. <laughs> so the prophet of Islam, they are sick and Allah saying that clearly. As you see in the front of you. You can say to me, this is not true. Now, I know what you will say to me. You will say to me, this is not the explanation of the verse. You got it wrong. So, uh, uh, Omar, when I read for you your explanation, you cry. You say, this is not Quran. Until now, I was, re I was reading Quran. Now, let us read the explanation to be sure that what I am saying is correct. This is Al-Jalalain. This is the chapter in front of your eyes. You will see that that he make what Satan has cast a trial. That he make who Allah. What Satan has cast as a trial. So the one, a test 
for those who in who whose their heart a sickness a disease hypocrisy your prophet is a hypocrite so this is only will happen for those who they are sick hypocrite liars this is mean this is a proof that your prophet is hypocrite sick liar because as you see this has happened for those only who they are hypocrite and this has happened to who to prophets of Islam so you just agreed that your prophet is hypocrite secondly if your God Allah will take this off how the trial will happen this is the most stupid verse ever I heard of I will continue in the second video please follow with me Jesus is Lord Islam is a joke I mean